Antigua's Prime Minister says Parliament will reconvene for a special session to deal with a financial scandal that's rocked the Caribbean nation. Robert Allen Stanford, the island's largest private employer, has been accused of duping investors out of billions of dollars. The news prompted concern among government officials about the job and financial security of hundreds of Antiguans. Stanford, a Texas financier, owns several businesses on the island, including two restaurants, a development company, and a three-branch local bank. The situation clearly demanded prompt and decisive action in order to reassure citizens and residents who were customers of the Bank of Antigua that their deposits and other financial instruments in respect of the bank remained secure. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission filed a civil lawsuit last week accusing Stanford of running an $8 billion scam, leading anxious clients to rush banks in Antigua and Venezuela. Financial officials won't say how much money has been withdrawn, but they've warned that the institution could face liquidity problems. And today, um, there were no crowds outside of the bank, nor was there a crush in the banking hall, which means that we are on the way to return to a state of normality. But a lot of work needs to be done um, to restructure the institution to ensure um, that we have a strong and viable institution under this new umbrella. Government officials haven't revealed exactly how they'll address the allegations. Stanford, who was served legal papers by FBI agents and ordered to surrender his passport, has not been charged with any crime. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.